Welcome back, everyone. We have an update from Hilo Corp, which trades on the OTC under the symbol HLOC. It's a technology company leveraging biodata, artificial intelligence, and precision nutrition to drive human wellness transformation. Please welcome its CEO and CFO, Sean McVeigh. Nice to see you, Sean. Anna, thank you very much. Nice to see you too. Uh, delighted to be here to uh, give you an update on our Nutramatic rollout. Uh, we've made a lot of progress since we uh, last spoke. So if we can uh, present the slides and get stuck in, that'd be great. The slides are up in your slides tab. Uh, okay, very good. Ah, that makes it easier. Thank you very much. Um, so as you can see, we are uh, Hilo, which now stands for Health and Lifestyle Optimization for All. Uh, let me just find my, uh, before I continue, just to bring your attention to our disclaimer, because there'll be some forward-looking statements and you can find all of our disclosures and financial statements on the OTC markets website under the HLOC ticker. Um, so first of all, if I can just do a short recap, um, we're all about technology, we're all about data uh, to drive health and lifestyle optimization. Uh, our history is in wearable devices and over the last eight years, we've launched 13 devices and generated over $125 million in revenue. Um, our, some of these devices uh, is, are patented and uh, they have won awards and the company has won an uh, Deloitte uh, Fast 500 Tech Award. Um, and I'm pleased to say we are still debt free. So that's a, a great position to be in. The product on the, on the bottom right of our slides is our latest offering, our Nutramatic. And this is what I want to talk to you about. Um, but just to give you an idea, over the last eight years, there was probably three phases in our business. There was the initial tech launch uh, where we were at CES for two years. Um, that was a great beginning. Uh, and then we had some tremendous growth between 2019 and 2021. Um, and then things began to uh, steady, which was a, a nice time for consolidation, but it pushed us to think about the business we're in and wouldn't it be nice to target an industry where the business model had a recurring revenue model um, so that it's it's more sustainable and more robust? And our analysis brought us to the nutritional supplement market. So the wearable device market is a huge and attractive market, certainly. But when you combine that with the nutritional supplements market, uh, we're looking to drive wellness to the next stage, wellness 2.0. Um, so that's the direction we're looking at. And the question is, how should we enter a new market and a substantial market and an attractive market? And there's two answers to that. One is, uh, using technology, which is what we are very strong at, technology innovation, development, and delivery. Uh, and then I suppose the second way is carefully. We need to make sure that uh, we enter it correctly. Um, so if I can first talk about our Hilo AI platform, which we've been developing over the last few months, and we will continue to develop, to develop until we launch our new traumatic. Um, the devices on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, the one with the nice blue circle there, that's our uh, Biosense, and the one beside it is our Watch 2. Uh, the Biosense is the award-winning design, and, and the Watch 2 has a patent-pending side sensor on it. Uh, these devices are very capable, very robust, and have generated a substantial portion of the revenue you saw on the earlier slides. Um, You'll also see that we have Apple, Fitbit, Garmin, 
uh, as examples of other wearable devices that in time are going to open the Helo AI platform too. The idea there is that no matter what wearable device you have, we're happy to gather your biometrics and feed them into our Helo AI personalization engine. But wearable devices can only provide part of the information. We also need your biomarker data. And we get that from our BioStrip product, a product that we've launched last year. These two products combined provide a lot of information for our engine. And uh, we take this information, use AI to analyze it, and then it informs our Helo Neutromatic, the device in the top right, what supplements and, and minerals you need at that point in time. So you get your real-time personalized nutrition, but also we combine that with individual lifestyle coaching. And then key to all of that is the arrow on the bottom, which is a feedback loop. So we assess your progress, and then we revisit all of the metrics again, push it through the AI engine, do the analysis, and then perhaps the next day, your supplement combination will be different as it responds to the fact that you had a different day, uh, different experience and require perhaps different supplement combination. Um, so that's the technology. We see that as technology that can disrupt a very uh, stable, traditional uh, supplement industry. Um, I also mentioned that we're looking to enter this new uh, market uh, in, a, in a way that's careful. Although we have the technology, we're, we're training our AI engine, um, we have uh, launched uh, our first uh, Neutralife AI program, which is a, an investigational study available to participants worldwide. We had a, a launch in Taiwan and we invited people to participate in that. The limit was a thousand people and we were oversubscribed for that. So now we're currently enrolling for our NAP2. The advantage of this program is that uh, it allows us to train our AI engine. We get to know our customers, we get to know their biomarkers and that combined with their wearable device data helps us build our AI knowledge domain, which is crucial. But also more importantly, all NAP participants get the opportunity, will get the opportunity to purchase a Neutromatic at the early release stage. So this allows us to throttle and control the demand for what we see will be a very, uh, it will be a product that will be, in, there will be huge demand for this product. So we don't want to disappoint our customers. So this way we can deliver to people who have been loyal to us. Uh, on the bottom right hand side, you can see, this is an example of a, a screenshot from the uh, Neutralife AI app. And it shows that, uh, uh, this participant has undertaken one test, there are 24 to go, they are in NAP1, and what that means is that uh, they will be eligible to purchase a, a Neutromatic uh, at the end of May, early June, assuming they complete the other 23 tests. So we're at a stage now where there's a lot of excitement uh, around our customer base. We're getting a huge amount of feedback everybody is participating, doing their tests, supplying their data. So our knowledge domain is being built and we're very uh, confident that uh, we look forward to a successful launch of Neutromatic middle of this year. So that's it. Great, John. Thank you. We do have a few minutes for some questions. Will you talk a little bit about your pricing strategy for Neutromatic and the supplements? Sure. Um, so, as I mentioned earlier on, our, our NAP participants will get a significant discount on the Neutromatic launch price, first of all. Um, we're at a stage where we are working through the bill of materials, we understand the costs, so we would like to think that this device will be uh, sub 
dollars and hopefully a lot less than that. But we haven't defined the price. What we think will be very interesting is it will deliver supplement batches in of the order of our target is less than $100 per month for a single user and less than $150 for a family of users, up to four people. Um, and we've done a, a lot of analysis on this and uh, we believe that we can provide all of our users with the supplements and nutrition combination they need based on their data for an amount of money similar to what they're probably spending already. So we're looking to displace existing suppliers with a high-tech uh, on-point solution that gives people exactly what they want when they need it. And do you have any patented IP related to Nutramatic? Yes, I'm pleased to say that it's now patent pending. The patent itself was published in November and uh, we're just going through the patenting process now. So uh, very optimistic that that will unfold very nicely. And we have patent experience previously with uh, some of the other patents we've filed. Uh, I mentioned the side sensor is an example of uh, one of the areas where we have, uh, it's also patent pending, but at the end of that process. And we have and, a patent granted as well. And what about your team? Do they have experience in developing and launching nutritional supplements globally? Well, that's that's why we need to step through our process very carefully because this is a, a new market for us. However, I'm very pleased to say we have a, a, a our uh, our marketing and, and president of Hilo AI, uh, Kevin Fuller, has just joined has joined us earlier. Well, at the end of last year, and uh, he has a huge amount of experience and we're feeling the impact of his professionalism uh, because he is now pulling a lot of things together. Um, but also he's personally passionate about this subject as well. And he has a, an interesting track record in that space, an interesting and strong track record in that space. So uh, I exp I'd like for maybe the next uh, one of these, we'll uh, get Kevin to join us. That would be great. Um, we have maybe a second for one more question or two. Dante asks, do you have an app that works with the Apple Watch or other devices? And is there a way for you to generate revenue without selling hardware? Um, we don't have an app yet. This is our target. But when our Nutramatic is, is uh, on stream, the idea is yes, uh, we will open it up to uh, Apple, Garmin, Fitbit, and all the top tier wearable devices there, including our own devices. Uh, so our model doesn't require users to buy our wearable devices. We would like if they did, and I think they will find some additional features in there, which they mightn't find on other devices, but we're very happy to take Apple customers, Garmin customers, Fitbit customers, and everybody else. And last question from Rich Lucas. He's a shareholder. He asks, how will these new products enhance shareholder value? Um, good question. We uh, expect that uh, a few things will happen. This will put us firmly in the technology space where we can leverage our technology and enjoy the technology multipliers that are available to companies in this in this sector, first of all. Secondly, the revenue will be sustainable and reoccurring, and we can build incrementally on our new technology releases. So uh, there are many reasons why we think that this will all stack up and make a lot of sense and obviously generate uh, a lot of shareholder value. Perfect. Well, Sean, thank you so much for joining us. Again, we look forward to following you with your continued updates. Anna, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.